Amazon Graviton is a 64-bit ARM-based CPU designed by AWS. In this video, we are going to have a look at what Graviton is, where you should be using it, and what are the strengths attached to it. AWS Graviton is a 64-bit ARM-based CPU designed by AWS itself. ARM stands for Advanced Risk Machines. ARM processors are used extensively in consumer electronic devices such as smartphones, tablets, wearables, and other mobile devices. They are also used in a wide range of sensors and Internet of Things devices. The first version of Graviton was launched at AWS reInvent in 2018. The second generation, AWS Graviton 2, was launched in December 2019. These days, we are enjoying Graviton 3. AWS says that Graviton 2 delivers up to 40% improved price performance over the same generation M5, C5, and R5 instances, and an average of 72% reduction in the power consumption. Graviton 3 provides up to 25% better compute performance, up to the multiples of two higher floating point performance, and then same for the faster cryptographic workload performance. Graviton 3 also offers three times the better performance for machine learning workloads, including support for Bfloat 16 and 50% more memory bandwidth compared to AWS Graviton processors. But why would we need Graviton? Graviton supports broad spectrum of workloads such as application servers, microservices, video encoding, high performance computing, electronic design automation, compression, gaming, open source databases, blockchain, in-memory caches, and CPU-based machine learning inference. AWS Graviton processors are supported by many Linux operating systems including Amazon Linux 2, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Suzy, and Ubuntu. AWS Graviton 3 processors feature always-on memory encryption, dedicated caches for every vCPU, and support for pointer authentication. EC2 instances powered by AWS Graviton processors are built on the AWS Nitro systems that feature the AWS Nitro security chip with dedicated hardware and software for security functions. And it also offers support for encrypted Amazon EBS volume by default. And as you know, more and more workloads are being shifted over to AI and machine learning. So as the infusion of machine learning and AI increases with the passage of time, the more and more Graviton would be coming into the mainstream. Okay, so when exactly we should be using Graviton and when should we be giving it preferences on the other EC2 types? Graviton processors are used on more than one instance type. There are different type of instances, each optimized for a different use case. And these are these five are the instance types which can be used as per your workload. If you have microservices running like containers and you have small to medium sized databases as a backstore of those containers, then use general purpose Graviton. If your workload is compute intensive, such as video encoding, gaming, and HPC, then use compute optimized. If your applications are more geared towards in-memory caches, open source databases with a huge workload, and also you do a lot of real-time analytics, then you should be using memory optimized Graviton. If your main requirement is more towards NoSQL databases, key value stores, your search engines like Elastic Cache or Upper Search and streaming, then go for the storage optimized. If your use case is purely geared towards machine learning and graphics, then you should be using accelerated computing type for Graviton. As is the case with always uh, almost everything, there is a word of caution. It's worth noting that ARM-based processor architecture isn't compatible with everything. For example, Microsoft Windows out of the box won't work on it. You'll have to check if your particular use case will work natively on ARM-based architecture. If it won't, 
you will need to either migrate it to ARM, the workload I mean, or see if you can rework your solution. Graviton 3 based instances use up to 60% less energy for the same performance. Graviton 3 architecture uses up to 60% less energy on a comparably spec EC2 instances and which helps organizations reduce their carbon footprint and the cost. Most excitingly, each new Graviton generation so far has come out with better features each time, making them safer and more performant with each new release. I hope that was helpful. If you have any comments or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thanks.